Today we're up in Hull in East Yorkshire with Seriously Lotus. Seriously Lotus is one of our very good distributors. They've fitted a lot of the MX2E product over the years, along with many of our smarty cams and additional sensor kits. What we're going to be taking a look at today is the MXP Strada that they fitted into this car. The reason they fitted the MXP Strada into this particular vehicle is because it's got a Comotech DSG gearbox conversion in it. With the MX2E, they weren't able to get a lot of the custom CAN information from the gearbox to the dash because the MX2E is a what we call locked product. With the MXP Strada, they've got full access to everything they need to write all of the custom CAN information, to write custom configurations, to get all the sort of information they want to see like power modes, drive modes, everything like that from the gearbox up to the display on the MXP. How do you get in this car? Bum first or legs first? <coughs> yes, yeah, silky smooth this. Ah. <coughs> I'm in, nearly. <coughs> so what's really clever about the MXP Strada compared to the MX2E is it's completely open so you can custom write everything you want whether that be CAN bus messages you can change the display you can change the icons you can change everything that you want is fully customizable obviously with the MX2E it's a fantastic product for a Lotus Exigen at least plug straight in but there are limitations to that product in senses of you can't change all the graphics you can't write custom cam messages, you can't do internal configuration with the dash where for example if you wanted to press a certain button and that activates a different light or a different display. So on the MXP for example you could go as far as to say um, when you press any button the dash could change colour for example. So what we've got with this car is when you put it into reverse there's a custom cam message that is sent from the ECU to the dash and it displays the reverse camera. Okay, so what we're gonna talk about here is show you some of the main reasons why you would potentially look at upgrading to an MXP Strada over an MX2E, for example. So as you can see here on the display, we've got up here, we've got the park indication. We've also got here a coolant temp. We've got a fuel, we've got an odometer, your mileage, and obviously, your RPM gauges. You've also got at the bottom here all of your different icons that you, would, that you would use. So for example here we've got indicators, we've also got your lights, we've got cruise control light there as well, we've got seat belt buzzer warning light, airbag light, everything you're going to need. Also if we press here the really clever thing that we can now do is have a different display. So on this display it looks very similar but at the top right here we've got the traction control mode so here when you rotate the traction control you can alter whether you want to go from traction mode 1 all the way up to traction mode 6. We've also now on the screens changed to the lambda reading so we've got call and temp and lambda so obviously this is what they use when they go on track they can therefore see clearly here when they go up and down the box you're going to have gears and then you're also going to have what traction control mode you're in and the lambda reading. So these are sort of the critical things they want to monitor when they go on to track. You've also got here your standard, standard um, st sport and race buttons that work by applying different icons here when you're in sport or when you go into race mode. You hold it and again you've got race. So with the MXP Strada we've managed to do everything that you'd have with the standard dash. So also here, you've got all of the integration with the Comotech DSG gearbox, sending all of the CAN information to the display. So quite often in this situation, there might be things with other display manufacturers or other versions of dashes where you wouldn't be able to have all of this information. But with the Strada and the custom CAN protocols, you can really create anything you want to show on the display. For all of our great customers out there that have already purchased an MX2E, something that we've got in this car which is fantastic is the Smarty Cam. Now, not everyone's bought a Smarty Cam, some of you have bought the reverse cameras before, 
but the Smarty Cam is really the next step to look at. If you ever go on track, if you ever even just want to capture some fantastic driving down a country lane, when you go for maybe a drive around Scotland or you go on a car, a car meet or whatever it is you're doing with your car, the Smarty Cam really is a fantastic way of capturing the onboard footage. So in this car here, we've got it mounted just between the seats here. We've got a little bullet camera. This is hardwired to the dash. So there's a cable that runs underneath where I'm sat here and it goes all the way into the expansion port on the back of the dash. So this takes all of your video footage. Um, it also has all of the feed from the dash comes through the cable to the Smarty Cam. So when you look at the footage, you have all of your overlays from the dashboard. So whether that be RPM, speed, temperatures, pressures, whatever it is, you can configure the camera to show that on the footage. If you go on to track, you've also then got lap timing on the footage. You've also then got the capability of taking the SD card out of the camera, plugging it into your computer and viewing all of the data and software on our Race Studio 3 platform. So if you're interested in getting an MXP Strada fitted into your Lotus Elise or Exige as potentially an MX2E upgrade, or maybe you haven't got an MX2E, but you like the idea of how the MXP Strada works, or even if you want to look at the Comotech DSG conversion kit, we recommend you come and speak to the guys at Seriously Lotus here up in Hull, as they know our products and the Comotech products better than anyone else.